Hey guys, Silent Knight here, and today I will be showing you how to acquire and install Optifine for Minecraft. Alright, so first you're going to want to actually go and get Optifine. Do that by a simple Google search, Optifine. Should be the first link right here. And you scroll down here. And depending on what version of Minecraft you're playing, depending if you're playing on Feed the Beast, which uses an older version, or if you're on Minecraft 1.5.1, or whatever version Minecraft may be on, you can go ahead and find your version. Um, there's different options uh, of what type you can want. There's Ultra, Standard, Light. Each one has different features. You can take the time to sit here and read all the features that they offer and uh, decide which one you want uh, best for yourself. I usually always just go with the Ultra because it's usually the best. Uh, it has all the bells and whistles. So then you want to just click Download or click Older Versions and find the version that you want. And once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and if you are using Feed the Beast, the Feed the Beast Launcher, Go ahead and minimize this. I have it right here. Let me feed the beast launcher to install Optifine. Show that. All you have to do is go to your mod pack, click it, edit mod pack, jar mods. You can see mine's already added here, Optifine 1.4.6. Um, but you just click add mod, and then in your downloads folder, or find or locate wherever you may have put the Optifine jar file. And then just find it, yada yada yada. Here's my app to find. You put the zip, just click open, and it should add it directly into your enable mods. And that's it. You're good to go for Feed the Beast. Click launch, and it should be installed. However, if you're playing on default Minecraft, you all you have to do is, upon downloading app to find, find it upon your downloads folder, wherever you may have stored it. Then you want to make sure you have some kind of a zip file opener, uh, WinZip 7. Um, was it seven win uh, whatever you guys may have, um, and then you want to open it with this. I have WinRAR, WinRAR Archiver. Open it up with that. Then you'll get a list of classes. I don't know. And then you want to locate your Minecraft file, which is in your app data. If you're on Windows Seven, a uh, good easy way to do that is just percent sign app data percent sign, and that should pull it right to your uh, app data roaming file. Double click on Minecraft.net. In, and you should find your Minecraft jar. Do the same thing. You're gonna open with WinRAR, and upon opening this, you want to look for a file that says uh, meta-inf. You want to delete that. If that's deleted, all you have to do is click like this, grab all the classes, drag and drop, press OK, and that should transfer all the files that you need into your Minecraft jar. All you have to do is close it, close it, close it, <laughs> close it, and you should be, and uh, Multifine should be fully installed and ready to roll. Then you should be able to launch your Minecraft jar, and it should just boot right in, and you're good to go. Alright guys, and that is how you install Optifine in Minecraft. Uh, this video will also be followed up with another video on how to not only install, obviously you'll know how to install from this video, but you'll also be able to... Uh, I'll show you how to optimize Optifine for maximum frames per second. If you're having any kind of frame issues, it'll show you the absolute bare minimum you can set it to to increase maximum frame rate. Other than that, that's all for today, guys, and you guys take it easy.